friends. Today we are going to learn how to use the paper shredder. Now there's a couple things that we need to talk about before we start shredding. There are some things that can go into the shredder and some things that cannot go into the shredder. So when we have our stack of materials that we need to shred, we need to look carefully for a few things. The first thing is a paper clip. Paper clips cannot go into the shredder. So before we shred, we need to take off the paper clip. Also, staples cannot go into the paper shredder. Do you see how this is stapled in the corner? The first thing that we would need to do before it goes into paper shredder is to take off the staple. And we can use a staple remover for that, or you can ask a grown up for help. Sometimes if we don't follow the rules of using the paper shredder, our paper shredder might get stuck. You might be tempted to put scissors into the paper shredder. We cannot stick anything into the paper shredder that is not paper. So no scissors, no pencils. If the shredder gets stuck or jammed, we need to follow our task and ask for help. Okay, no staples no paper clips, no scissors. We also have to be careful because if you look right here, this metal piece that runs down, that's where we're gonna stick the paper in. And we have to be careful to keep our fingers away from the paper shredder because it can be sharp. All right, are we ready to begin? All right, step one, we need to plug in the shredder. Now we always hold the plug right here by the thick part and we're going to put the two prongs into the outlet. We wanna make sure that the outlet is lit up green. If it's not lit up green, our paper shredder is not going to work. So very carefully, we plug in the shredder. Someone left our shredder on. All right, so once our shredder is plugged in, we need to turn it on. The switch to turn on our paper shredder is located in the back. So we are going to press it to the on position. We'll know it's on when the light in front is green. Our next step is we need to count out our paper. We can only put three sheets of paper into the shredder at a time. If we have something that is folded up, we need to make sure that we unfold the paper first. And then we can count out three sheets. One, two, and three. Then we need to put the paper into a neat stack. We can't jam all three pieces of paper down the shredder like this. So we need to tap gently on the counter before we put it into the shredder. Now we're going to repeat this step until all of our paper is in the shredder. So I'm gonna count out three, one, two, three sheets. I am going to make a neat stack and put into the shredder. Notice how I'm very careful not to put my hand along the silver strip at the top. One, two, three sheets, neat stack. And one, two, three sheets, neat stack. Now it's also important that when we stick it in the shredder that we put this directly in the center. So if we jam it too close to one of the edges, it's gonna crinkle up and it could cause our, jam, our shredder to become jammed. So make sure that when you stick it in the slot that it is in the center. <laughs> Now I have no more pieces of paper to shred, so I am going to turn it off and empty it. Here's how we do that. We look to the back of our shredder. I'm gonna turn it to off. I am going to unplug the shredder, and then I'm very carefully going to take the top off the shredder. It's heavy, so if you need to ask for help, that's okay. I'm going to set it on the counter. Then I'm going to take the bottom two 
the garbage can and I am going to empty the paper into the trash. I'm going to bring the basket back to the counter. I am going to very carefully put the shredder back on top. Now, sometimes when we're emptying into the garbage can, some might fall onto the ground or onto the counter, and that's okay. We just need to use a broom to clean up. And there you go. Now you can use the paper shredder.